What's up everybody, I'm Dave and welcome to another episode of Into Modular. In this episode I'm going to show you how I built this modular case. The reason I wanted to build my own case is threefold. First of all, pre-built modular cases are quite expensive. Second of all, I wanted the case to be portable. Pre-built portable cases are even more expensive. And third of all, I wanted the case to be set up in an angled way. So I stumbled upon the Rumba Rack. And the Rumba Rack is a really, really beautiful case um, by Basel Instruments. The cool thing about the Rumba Rack is that the lid can be used as a stand. The problem is it's really tiny and the design I had in mind for my modular is gonna need way more room than that. So I decided to build my own case inspired by this design. So I calculated everything based on the measurements by Basel Instruments from the Rumba Rack and just expanded it to make the case bigger. I then bought the wood and the store sawed most of the panels for me, so I only had to glue it. I let the glue clamps on for over 14 hours per panel to make the connection really strong. I wasn't quite sure if it would be strong enough still, so I decided to put some deuvels in. I'm not sure if uh, that's the correct English term, it's Dutch, but uh, it's those tiny wood uh, parts that you connect wood with to make the connection really strong. Here you can see I put a little bit of yellow tape um, around the drill to uh, make sure the holes wouldn't be too deep. I then sanded the box by hand to make it really, really smooth and put two layers of varnish on. It turned out way darker than I had hoped, but um, I'm actually very happy with the result. I used basic DIY flight case components to put the case together. And here you can see I used these open hinges so I could take the lid off. I bought most of these components at the local hardware store. You can buy these components at bigger music stores online as well. So now it's time to put in the mounting screws for the bus boards. I again used the tape trick on the drill to make sure I wouldn't drill holes through the box. So the open screws go, go into these mounting thingies um, and uh, excuse me for my lack of technical information on type of screws because I have no idea. Um, and yeah, these open screws, that's where the bus ports will rest upon. And uh, then you can mount them with, uh, by using normal screws. I'm a complete rookie when it comes to electronics, so I measured everything in detail so I wouldn't fuck anything up. Make sure you calculate everything right when it comes to how powerful the power supply is, what components and how to mount everything, because uh, it's high voltages, so yeah, be careful. So the hardest part for me was connecting the power outlet, because I couldn't really find any clear pictures online on how to connect one exactly right. Uh, only a couple of very blurry pictures. It took me quite some time to figure out by using a very blurred picture. I didn't want to fuck it up so I, I took the time to connect it in the right manner. And here's a picture of it. The red wire is the live wire, the blue wire is the neutral wire and the green wire in this picture is the ground. Here's the first time I'm gonna turn on the modular to test it. And yeah, let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. I think I found. And this was one thing when I started this project where I was really afraid of that it wouldn't work. Hij ging heel even aan en toen uit. Dat is een beetje. Fuck. 
I had no idea what it could be. It turned out it was the fuse in the power outlet. There's this little compartment between the power knob and the outlet itself containing a fuse and it wasn't strong enough at all so it blew out. So I bought one that could handle the power supply and then it all worked. No broken power supply or burnt bus boards, just a broken fuse. Phew! So then it was time to put in the rails and they, uh, because I measured everything right, uh, they fit in really tightly so uh, the screws were only there to hold them in place basically, which is really nice. Here you can see the end result and yeah, I'm really really happy with it. If you have any more questions or want to know more details about how I built this case, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as detailed as possible. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and click the bell button to make sure you get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!